kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys in this video I am going to show you how to use the button knife view binding library in your Android projects. So basically button knife is a view uh, view binding library that is used uh, by almost all the developers and it is a view binding library which allows you to uh, avoid the bother point code to bind your views so basically you just uh, write uh, a single uh, line and then you can easily easily bind them so uh, let's get started so basically you can see that the button knife is a lightweight library to inject views into android android components and it uses annotation processing and so first of all let me open the button knife github and this is the uh, github page of this library and it you can see it eliminates the find view by id and all the other code and it is just simple so you just um, write this uh, you use these annotations and you don't need to write and all the code that you used to write for the uh, for binding the views so let's get started as you can see that i already have uh, connected my i mean i have already created the project in my android studio and here first of all you need to go to your build.gradle and here i have already commented the dependency and so you need to write this com dot jake button uh, slash semicolon butter knife 8.8.1 so you now need to click on sync now and yes you can see that it is uh, easily in, uh, integrated into our project so in order to use it so you just need to write after this set content view butter knife dot bind and here you can just pass this all right so now it, this is the way of initializing this library and what i need to show you is that let's have a layout uh, let's copy and drag the text view here then we will have a button then we will have the let's say an edit text all right let's write uh, them in a linear layout and yes you can see uh, these are now here we have the text view then we have a button and we have the edit text and these are the ids edit text for the edit text then button and the text view so if i want to uh, bind those views so i will just write bind view and inside that i will write r dot id dot button and i will say button button all right so that is the way you can see it is very simple it makes your code a bit simple and shorter so if i want to bind my edit text so i can say r dot id dot edit text and i can write edit text here S similarly for the uh, text view so i can say bind view r dot id dot text view and here you we can write text view all right so now we can easily use them like we can say button dot set text similarly we can say text view dot set text and all the this uh, we can access now okay so the, i think it is a very simple uh, it makes your code a bit simple and shorter 
so another thing which i want to show you is that you can uh, automatically uh, use uh, i mean you can automatically write all these lines uh, in case if you have a, a bigger layout so you don't need to write line by line so what you can do is you can install the plugin so go to file and then go to settings and inside this uh, settings you need to click on plugins and here you can uh, write butter knife all right and from there make sure that you select this one android butter knife there is any and you need to install it and then you need to uh, restart your android studio and, and you can now uh, use it so let me show you how you can use it so i am removing this code so here right uh, select the activity man right click then go to generate and there will be an option of generate butter knife injections all right so click here and you can see these are all the uh, views which you can bind them and there we have the variable names and i will click on confirm and there you can see that these are already are automatically written here all right so another thing which i want to show you is that how to use the on click feature of this button knife so if you want to uh, have a, a method that you want to execute when you click on a button so you can what you can do is you can say on click and inside that you can uh, pass the id of the button so we can say r dot okay so uh, first of all we need to write the method so we can say public void uh, so let's say i have a, me a method that is button one two three and here i am just printing a toast message you click this button all right now if i want to bind it so i can write on click and here we can say r dot id dot button all right so that is uh, simple now so you just need uh, need to write this on click this and you can easily use the on click event so let me just uh, run the app and show you the output yes now the app is running and if i click on the button okay i think that is not working all right guys so i forgot to include the annotation processor here so you also need to uh, in include it for it to work so if so when i uh, inserted it and it started working all right so let me now show you here if i will click on the button and there you can see you clicked th this button so this is the way of uh, using this on click so here we have a lot of other methods like on long click and on item long click and many other uh, many other annotations so the next thing is we can also bind our strings or we can also bind the colors so uh, let's say if i have a string here let me write define a string and i name it as my str and here i write some random string and now if i want to access this string what we can do is inside our activity we can say bind string and inside this we can say r dot string dot my str and here we can write string 
my str all right so that is the way of uh, binding our strings and also we can use this uh, similar to for the color so here we can say bind uh, color and here we can write r dot color dot color primary and here we can write in color all right so that is the way of uh, accessing and binding the views so first of all uh, let's have a care so i showed you how to first of all uh, install the plugin for the butter knife then i showed you how to use the bind view to bind your views and to make your code uh, simpler and shorter and then i uh, and i teach you how to use this on click event for your button and then i showed you how to use the how to bind the colors and the, the strings inside your resource directory all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye